My name is Evan Wu. Uh, this is my blog called Wu Financial. Um, can you scroll down? Yes. Yeah. So, like, have you ever wondered how people like Bill Gates and Warren Buffett gather so much personal wealth? So, a lot of it um, comes down to investing in stocks, mutual funds, bonds, and annuities. So, this website will help you navigate through the steps to achieve um, personal wealth. So um, I'm going to skip the introduction. I'll we'll go straight to the invest investment strategies because I feel like this is the most important. Um, so there are numerous investment strategies to maximize your profit. Uh, the first one is to conduct fundamental analysis. So this includes examining financial statements of a company, such as revenue, expenses, assets, and liabilities. So, um, could you scroll a little? Yeah. So, um, the main process is a top-down approach. So it's like a more broad approach and goes more specific, right? So it starts with a general evaluation of the economy. So basically, if the economy is doing well, the overall economy is doing well, then it's likely that the individual companies are going to grow. On the other hand, if the overall economy declines, it's more likely that the company suffer. So once the general scenario for the overall econ econ economy has been analyzed, so then you can break down the economy into the individual um, in industry groups. So this is like a chart of the S&P 500. As you can see, it's very, like, uh, it's been increasing for the past 30 years. So therefore, we can see that the overall um, economy has been increasing. And then after we notice that the overall economy has been increasing, um, can you start? Uh, so if the economy is expanding, there are certain groups that are expected to grow more than others. And, and you want to identify those certain groups. So you can narrow the field down to sectors that are best suited to grow in the future based on the current economic situation. Um, so you have to consider the market size, overall growth rate, and the importance of to the economy. So, for example, all these um, lines here represent different sectors. So I, I don't know what sector specifically, but you can see that this sector has substantially more growth than this, this sector. So basically, you want to invest most of your money in this sector as opposed to this one. So um, after you choose an industry group, such as, let's say, um, um, technology, then you have to narrow that down to companies. So to find the best companies, you have to consider like a lot of factors. First, you should definitely identify the leaders and the innovators of the group. So Apple, for example, for technology. And then you want to find uh, analyze basically all these factors. Um, yeah, I'm not going to be on that. Basically, all that, um, after these steps, you should end up with only a few good companies. So then, technical analysis is basically the prediction of future stock prices based on the analysis of the past price movements. So you can use many types of charts, such as candlestick charts. Um, so the first step is to identify the overall trend. This can be accomplished using trend lines, peak control analysis, and moving averages. So for example, if the price of a stock is above the upper trend line, then the trend is up. And you can also use the price relative, which is a line that is formed by dividing the price of the stock by the, uh, the S&P 500 um, stock price. So, um, there are some weaknesses to technical analysis. Um, one is that um, it can be open to interpretation. Two different uh, analysts can see the same chart but see different patterns. Um, another downside is that um, by the time the trend is identified, the stock price would have already moved. So it's hard to um, kind of predict. And finally, it's not always accurate because the signals and patterns sometimes are not correct. For example, 
in um, candlestick charts, sometimes you predict a reverse in the trend, but so, sometimes it doesn't, it's not correct. And you can't do anything about it. And um, the third type of strategy is called dividend investing, which is probably what Bodhi was doing. Um, yeah, so it involves buying stocks with high dividends and strong record earnings. So even if the price of a stock goes down, you can still get some money. Um, some downsides are that the stocks with overly high.